Today we have the Vector Max Spray All-in-One and here's a little quick start guide with it. What you want to do is you want to open the pre-program XV Lite on the program by touching XV Lite. Go into the program and from here you're able to either select an existing patient that's already been entered or enter your own patient and save. Let's just say we want to go into existing patient and take a follow-up x-ray. Very simply we're going to tap on the patient's name, we're going to either view existing images we've already seen or we're going to take a new x-ray. So today we'll pretend we're going to take a new x-ray, we select from the tooth chart where we're going to take it. If we had a sensor plugged in, we would then hit activate selected unit. But since we don't have a sensor plugged in, it won't activate. But I'll show you what it does just in case. So uh, since we don't have the sensor plugged in, we go to take it. It'll tell you sensor failure because there's no sensor plugged in. Otherwise, it would allow you to take the image and you would have a image pop up on the screen like this. And from that point forward, you can modify the image, uh, view it in different modes. You can save the image. You can email the image if you'd like to, save it in the patient file, or you can go back and take another image on a new patient. We'll go back to the main patient file. This program is very, very easy to use. It allows you to store all the patient's information by date if needed, by tooth size, however you want to look for them. Very, very simple to use. From this point forward, you can just simply tap on any of the photos, bring them up, compare them, or go back and take another shot with the unit. Thank you.